Hi there. I'm just going to do a quick little video now to show you the dried results from my reds and pinks videos. Starting with this one, which was video number 105, and it was my wreck a ring pour with the reds and the golds. That's how it's come out dry. I don't know how well you can see that, but the gold is just beautiful in it. It dried a lot darker than the initial pinks, but I'm happy with that because it really is lovely with the red and the gold. Now this one is the second one that I did, which was um, the triple open cup pour with the three little cups on it and as you can see it dried a lot differently to how it was originally um, finished and that of course is because there was just a huge amount of paint on there and it um, <laughs> it came off and that is what I was left with. I still think it's really pretty, but next time I try to do this, I think I will do it on a larger canvas um, and just use a little bit less paint. Now, you didn't get to see these on camera. This was made from the leftover paint from the previous pour because I had so much of it. I put it onto a canvas with the intention somewhere down the track of doing a chain pull or string pull or something similar over the top using this as the background. So that hopefully will be not too far into the future. And that is the paper that the paint was poured on and so what I did was I, I lifted the sides of the paper up like that and as the paint all went down into the middle I tipped the paint off this onto that canvas to get the results that I got. But basically what that means is that I now have another piece of um, acrylic skin that I can just cut out the shapes that I want to use in jewellery and some of those silvers and pinks will certainly look really good um, with a cabochon over the top of them. And this painting was video number 107 and my pride and joy. I just fell in love with it and I think it has dried beautifully. I expected the pinks to disappear a lot more, but they've stayed in place. What has surprised me is how much of the metallic silver has actually stayed in on the canvas and has not been overrun by the reds. So it's actually a lot more silvery looking than what it was when I initially did it. But that is just beautiful and of course my favourite of the series. And of course the last one here is my last video, number 108. And this one... Um, I didn't expect it to dry this well. I really thought that it would end up a lot darker. So again, really pleased with the way the particularly neon pink has held its colour. But I did notice, I don't know whether I can pick it up on camera here, that there were a few little bumps and I checked it out. I found that the primary red paint, which I had had for quite a while, was actually putting little bumps onto my canvas. So I only had a little bit left in the tube. So it has gone into the round filing bin, bin on the floor. And that actually came out quite silvery, ghostly silvery as well, which was a surprise to me. But again, very pleased with the result. And um, with the whole series, actually, um, I'm very happy with what I've done in that. So with my new series, I will be doing the purples and li purples through to lilacs. Again, trying to pick up the colours in their different shades to the best of my ability. Well, that's it for the pictures today. Once again, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.